Scorpio, how are you all? I hope you had an amazing weekend or whenever you're listening to these messages is when you're meant to hear them. Let's start out today with our true love message. See what spirit has for us in terms of advice and guidance. These are very in-depth messages for those of you that are brand new. Get your energy in with us. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe. Notification bell. It helps uh, support the channel for absolutely free and it helps others to hear these messages and we definitely all need to help support one another and lift each other up. Let's get started. So these are very in-depth and they do take a few seconds, minutes to read, but be patient because the messages are worth hearing, okay? I'm only going to pull one for that reason. So let's see what we've got today. Ooh, spiritual maturity. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and read that. And I'm going to hold it up for you as I read it. Um, I do want to let you know that I will pull one in the extended as well. So if this resonates for you, you may want to check that out if this if these messages are going to resonate for you here today. Okay, so here, look at that. Can you see that? Awesome. These are very in-depth messages that it helps us think outside the box. And I feel that's very important because sometimes we kind of get stuck in our um, trained thinking. And when I say trained thinking, I mean how we were brought up or how we were raised or what we we're expected to think, feel, do um, in this life. So this is, helps us to always think outside the box. Okay, so listen to these messages. What is spiritual maturity and why is it important in a loving relationship? Take a moment now to think about how you would answer these questions. Spiritual maturity will also take into account spiritual compatibility. For example, if you believe in reincarnation, karma, and a higher power that lovingly guides you, then how compatible can you be with a person who believes in a judgmental God and only one opportunity to get it right before being sent to heaven or hell? Being spiritually mature means that you can accept another person's views while being able to choose the best match for yourself wisely. A spiritually mature person doesn't have all the answers to life, the universe, and everything. But at the very least, they will have given these topics some consideration. Spiritually mature people endeavor to think for themselves because the maturing process actually requires that we question what our family and culture teaches us until we come to our own center of belief and spiritual truth. You've drawn this card today because it's important for you to prioritize spiritual maturity in yourself and your partner. This will aid you in connecting with a true soulmate or allow existing relationship to grow. An understanding of each other's beliefs and feelings can be realized through respectful and mindful conversation. Ask your prospective or existing partner what their beliefs are. Never assume. Create a space in your relationship for spiritual maturity to flourish. Have the courage to explore beyond the beliefs and ideals that were handed to you as a child and be willing to take whatever steps are necessary to mature yourself. When you do this, you will attract the best person for you. If you are in an existing relationship, you can open doors to many new and exciting possibilities for you and your partner to enjoy. It's so incredibly true because if you have differences, um, you know, in your belief system, it can really mess things up. So I mean, these are all things that you need to figure out before you go into a relationship, right? Like for me, I was like not raised in a huge religious family or anything like that. We believe in God and we went to church when we felt like it, not because we had to or we felt forced to. Um, so I just saw 333. That may be significant for some of you. Those are angel numbers. So check that out. You know, spiritual maturity is... It's like you grow up and you start to realize, well, hey, I don't have to think that way. I've got my own mind. I've got my own body. I can do what I feel is right. I can think what I feel is right. I can make changes for myself that I feel is right. Okay, so it's it's about thinking outside that box, realizing that you're not confined to a certain belief system just because you grew up that way, right? Anyhow. Okay. <laughs> I think us Scorpios um, look outside the box anyways, right? For most of us. So I'm a Scorpio for those of you that are brand new. So take what resonates in your reading. Leave what doesn't. Remember, it is a general read, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. Uh, it may resonate for you in the future. If this isn't happening now, it definitely can happen in the near future. That's how Tarot works, okay? Check your moon, rising, Venus signs. I definitely get messages from my moon and rising signs as well. So I have the playlist there if you wish to check those out. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. I'm as anxious as you are. This is the overall gener general energy I'm going to use with the angel tarot here. And then we're also going to get mutual energies between you and whoever you might be dealing with with our exclusive Shacy Prism Tarot. So you can check that out. I'm going to be digging a lot deeper and getting uh, messages through the... Um, 
Tarot of Dreams, among others, I feel called to use. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your overall general. I will try to read it as if you're single or, you know, whatever happens in, in the cards, though, from Spirit is what, what comes out. I cannot control the cards, so whatever I'm going to see is what I see. I can't change it. Wow, and they're all jumping out. Not surprising in our Scorpio readings. Wow, judgment first card out. Scorpio, there you are. So you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you've much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next. As you contemplate the past and present, you'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. So again, it's about thinking outside the box. Be the real you, not what everybody else expects you to be. I do want to say this can play out from your perspective or whomever you are dealing with. It can play out from their perspective, okay? It can be a family member, a friend, whoever's affecting your energy, right? You're all going to be different. So this is about making final choices and decisions, you know, for yourself. What's right for you? Be the real you. Be authentic and decide what's next here. You know, you just, you think about your past. You look at your present. You decide what you want for your future. So this is about you, you know, wondering what you're going to do next in your future. It's time to decide, Scorpio. It's time to make that judgment. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? What do you want your future to look like? Okay, so you may be kind of taking a chill right now. <laughs> This is about taking a break. Maybe you're exhausted. You need to rest. You need to rejuvenate here. Spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice because overanalyzing the situation isn't going to provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation would be very helpful, okay? That's something that most of us are good at as Scorpios, but this is about taking that break to really think about what you wanna do next. So you may be on a break, Scorpio, deciding what your next plot, whatever is gonna be, what you wanna do with your life, where you wanna go, what you wanna do uh, career-wise, family-wise, uh, relationship-wise. You're kind of like spirit saying, take the time to really think about those things, but do it from an authentic part of yourself don't people please and don't do what people expect of you do what you feel is right for yourself mm -hmm. you're wow it's like i'm really thinking about the future here somebody could be at a distance from you um for some of you here but this is about contemplating spirit wants you to trust your ability to make the right choice here that's good for you there's opportunities all around you and you know continue to move forward spirit wants you to continue to move forward here and it says, you know, it may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. So you're contemplating your future, Scorpio, trying to make choices and decisions here from your own authentic self. That's awesome. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or another Scorpio here. Let's keep going. Wow. Big decisions to make for the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're kind of feeling, um, you know, this is the five of pentacles. Spirit wants you to know there are times when everybody needs a hand and your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help from those that you, that you trust and the situation you experience will be temporary. May not be the right time to do certain things in your life. And Spirit wants you to be patient with yourself here. Again, taking that time to really figure out which direction you want to go. You, I feel like you've got a big decision here to make you or somebody else. Again, it can be you and your person or just you. This could all be you. You may be going through or have gone through a breakup here because the Ten of Pentacles is about having uh, combined assets, resources, family, um, all those things. Five of Pentacles is about having that split in half. So to me, this is a breakup going through some financial and emotional loss here. So this could be you or somebody else you're dealing with. And it's about making plans for the future and doing things from, again, your authentic self, not what everybody expects from you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is also a period of maybe being uh, left out in the cold, like somebody's left you out in the cold or vice versa here. Clarify the five of abundance for Scorpio. Wow. Okay, we have somebody here that's kind of moving like a slug. <laughs> this is the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight in the deck. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. So Spirit wants you to know that it's time to get organized and once planning's complete, then you can roll up your sleeves and get going here, okay? Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. It also indicates that someone is very loving, kind, and, and uh, loyal. Someone with a big heart, quick wit, and endless patience, okay? So whoever you're dealing with, it's again, it's about patiently trying to figure out which direction I wanna go and trying to figure out um, exactly 
how I want to proceed from here. What choice do I want to make? Thinking about somebody from a distance or making plans of future travel here. Just basically what, you know, I'm going to get my ducks in a row here and I need to figure out what's next here because I'm kind of feeling kind of um, at a loss here. Somebody's feeling at a loss here. So I feel it's about making very careful choices and being patient with yourself here. One more, please, for Scorpio. One more for Scorpio. So somebody may have left you out in the cold here or somebody's gone through a breakup here. It's about making choices from your higher self here and not anybody else's, okay? Yeah, okay, wow. Yeah, there's been a lot of chaos here, I feel. There's been too many people involved, perhaps, in your situation. And Spirit wants you to know that these challenges are pushing you to be assertive and self-confident and do things again from, you know, basically your third eye, opening your third eye, being spiritually aware, like mature-wise, that you can go through down this path here. It is going to be challenging, but you can get there if you choose to do it from a spiritually mature sense of you here. Like, it's... It's like, I feel like that's why spirit is saying like when you, when you make this judgment and you get your ducks in a row to do it from your authentic place and not what others are expecting of you, your angels want you to know that your current challenges pushes you to be assertive and self-confident, be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those bringing drama into your life. So those people, uh, whether it's family, friends, whoever this is for you, it's about realizing that you can stand up for yourself, be assertive, and don't do things just to make somebody else happy here. If there's people around you that are bringing drama into your life and creating unnecessary stress here when it's a decision and a choice that's yours here, a spirit saying stand up for yourself and your right to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and get... The Flaming Roses Confessions here. So these could be messages from your person um, to you, Scorpio, or vice versa. So just, again, remember that. If you don't have anybody in mind, this part of the reading is not for you, okay? So in the extended, I'm also going to pull for, we're going to sneak peek into April. We'll get the mutual energies for April. We'll get any guidance and advice messages, some fortune advice messages, as well as we're going to check out the tarot sexual magic and find out what the intimate messages are between you and whomever you're thinking about. I'm also going to pull the um, Leo Norman deck, which is not a tarot deck, but they're very in-depth uh, messages that are absolutely amazing. And I will get the divine feminine, the divine masculine. I might do that after this as well. We'll see. We'll see how far we get, Scorpio. You know, I like to dig. So leave me messages. Let me know if this is resonating for you so far. What is going on? Okay, so I'm going to pull three messages. And you're meant to hear all three. But the strongest one is your first message. You choose second, your second, your third, your third. One more, please. Angels and spirits for score. Wow, I love it when they fly out like that. It's just awesome. Okay, are you ready? First message. I am happy for you. So somebody's very happy for your new experience is soon to come forward here Scorpio because it's like you have this new path this new direction here and it's about moving forward very carefully and I feel like you know you're Scorpio so no matter what you're going to be successful you you will and you are mature enough here I feel spiritually as well um, because a lot of Scorpios are highly intuitive we kind of can see or foresee things before they happen here so somebody's very happy for you that you're able to kind of um, figure out what's next here is what I'm getting, Scorpio. Awesome. Okay, I want to make things right between us. So somebody wants to make things right between the two of you here. Perhaps you've left them behind or they've left you behind or you're just not speaking right now. That five of pentacles here it can be there's a lot of drama between you or too many people between you. But um, your person, I feel, wants to make things right here. I thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, but it wasn't. So perhaps, you know, they were looking at their other options or opportunities here, you or them. And this person thought that your person, whoever this is for you, thought that the grass was going to be greener on the other side by checking out their other opportunities. And I think they found out that that wasn't true. And you may have walked away. We shall see. Okay, let's go ahead. And I just wanted to tell you, Scorpio that the magician came flying out on the floor, just a sec. So I feel that was meant for us, so I'm going to keep it. 
So Spirit's saying you can manifest whatever it is your hopes, dreams, and wishes are. Realizing that you have everything within your power to make this judgment here, okay? Because you're trying to make plans for the future. You're trying to figure it out. You're being very careful here. Um, I feel like, you know, any um, obstacles that are in your way, you're going to kind of like take a break here and figure out what you want to do. And you're trying to manifest whatever it is that you want to do with your life here. So that's not surprising coming from us Scorpios. Let's keep going. For Scorpio, please. Angels and spirits, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. For March 2021, what are the messages for us Scorpios? What are the messages we need to hear for our highest good? For Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What are the messages we need to hear, please? For Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we need to know? In the extended as well, for those of you who feel like you're dealing with your twin flame, I'll pull some twin flame messages as well, okay? Check out our website if you wish to have a personal reading, which is more geared towards your energy, okay? These are general reads. There you are, Scorpio, in your own reading, Queen of Cups. Hello, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. So this is, you know, this queen is loving, nurturing, strong, very supportive, very balanced between head and heart, very patient, makes great apparent here. Um, this queen can be quite emotional, but again, very balanced between head and heart here. Okay, so somebody may be trying to manifest you, Scorpio, or this is you and your element manifesting. Let's find out. Why is the Queen of Cups here? What are we manifesting? Queen of Cups? What are we manifesting? Okay, somebody is feeling at a loss here. It's kind of like I'm really unhappy here. I'm, I'm not having a good time here at all. It's like I'm crying in my Wheaties. Um, I don't mean to put it like that, but it just, that's what this reminds me of. It's when you're kind of down in the dumps and you're kind of trying to figure out what do I do here? This is a breakup here. It's like I'm not having a good time here. So that could be you, Scorpio, or somebody close to you. Having regrets, feeling very disappointed how things are turning out. That might be you trying to manifest here or you could be dealing with another water sign. I've got earth sign here. It's like somebody's been moving very, very slow and trying to figure out what they want to do here. And there's been a lot of challenges or too many people in the mix here is what I'm getting here. It's about taking a break and needing to manifest and work things out and, and do things from an authentic um, standpoint here. Trying to figure out what you want to do and not worrying about what the Joneses think. That's what I'm getting, yeah. Ooh, hopefully somebody hasn't been dipping in the drink a lot here. That can indicate that here as well. But it can also represent that I'm really disappointed that wish fulfillment is not working out here. Okay, but it definitely can be. I mean, with the wine glasses here, wine glasses here. I mean, he's looking a little tipsy there. It can be that somebody's been kind of overindulging Scorpio. That can be anything. It can be shopping, drinking, um, whatever, you know. <laughs> um, shopping sprees. <laughs> I don't know, Scorpio, you tell me what you've been doing. Um, but this can also play out from your person's perspective. If they're missing you or disappointed, it can be both of you. If you're involved with somebody here, there's definitely been kind of like a breakup or a disappointment or, um, something going on in here. It could be distance between you and someone else. Someone wants things to change here. They're trying to manifest change here with the magician, the wheel, page of cups, trying to manifest maybe an apology here, a gift, um, a, a love message here Scorpio again from you to them or them to you here it's like I want change there's a turning point here happening with the wheel of fortune is major arcana so for those of you that are brand new to tarot magician the wheel or major arcana signifying that major occurrences are happening in your life here but things are about to change and it's all in the timing okay when the wheel of fortune comes this is karma this is destiny this is fate this wheel spins divine timing not ours and says it's time for a change here there's going to be a turning point a change a positive direction here apology a gift or a message of love here somebody's trying to make it happen here okay it's kind of like i miss you i've been hopefully not drinking or doing things like that but i have to say it because it's here it is just um it can also again respectfully be just that you're my wish fulfillment and i'm trying to make it happen here i'm trying to 
um, manifest change here. Spirit does say that it's going to change. Things are going to change for the better here because this is that turning point, that direction, that change, that faded lesson moving you forward here. Somebody needs to learn lessons to be propelled forward here. They're learning their karma perhaps here. You or them or both. It's, it's like this is going to push you forward. Okay. Now, on the Wheel of Fortune, we have Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius here. So you could be dealing with one of the other fixed signs. Wow, that just came out together, Scorpio. I'm going to clarify these in the extended for April, especially the Wheel of Fortune, to see where we're going from there. What is causing the blockages, this drama, this interference here. But I do want to go ahead and get the mutual energies before we do that. So let me know what's going on, Scorpio, down below. Do me a favor, please make sure you smash that like button. Um, I don't know what's going on with YouTube lately, but I had trouble uploading for a while there. And so it just seems like things have slowed down on YouTube to me, it does. So the more you hit the like button, others get to view these and hear these messages that are very important. What's going on for Scorpio between them and their person, whoever they may be dealing with now or in the near future? So again, Scorpio, this is a mutual energy it's between you and whoever you're dealing with. It can be a family, a friend, a love interest, a crush, an ex, whomever this is for you, and it can be in the future. Okay, maybe you're trying to manifest somebody new here because you want things to change because you're disappointed. Um, again, this can go vice versa. That's for you, those of you that are single and not thinking about anybody. Messages for Scorpio. What are the messages? What are the messages here? There's going to be a big change, Scorpio, with this Wheel of Fortune. That's beautiful. Wheel of Fortune can mean anything as well. You know, there is going to be a change, a shift, a positive movement here. Once lessons are learned, once karma is learned here, all in the timing, when the timing is right. What is going on, please, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and their person? Wow. Okay, so you're both going through a spiritual awakening. You both want a fresh start here, Scorpio. This is a new future. Again, this can be all you. This can be you going towards a new future here, being spiritually awakened and realizing that you can manifest whatever you want here. There's going to be a change here, mm -hmm, for sure. You could receive a message of love, again, a gift or an apology here for disappointment. Um... Or this could be you sending a message. Okay, wow. It's like I want to take this risk here. I want to take this chance. I want. This is about I'm going out in this fresh start. I have a new beginning and I can do whatever I want. I'm making the final decision to take this leap of faith, to have this fresh new start. You know, um, I just kind of need a break right now because there's been a lot of challenges. I'm trying to make things happen here. I'm very disappointed on how things are, are turning out here. Okay, this is my wish fulfillment and I, I feel kind of really lousy that this isn't turning out. I definitely feel like somebody wants to make things right here for those of you dealing with somebody. Mm -hmm. For others of you, you've had a breakup here and you're going out on your own for the first time. But you still may receive an apology or a gift here or some kind of communication here, um, whoever that is for you. But a spiritual awakening with judgment, this is beautiful energy because it's kind of like maybe somebody's becoming more spiritually aware and more spiritually mature here, going through that awakening, realizing that um, they have their life within their hands and I have new opportunity here. What do I want to do with it? This is my decision. And to leave, again, others out of it, leave the drama out because, again, it's your decision, right? And Spirit is saying here, you have the right to excuse yourself from anybody bringing drama into your life, whether that's family, friends, um, children, love interest, whoever that is for you, okay? Okay, so somebody could be going through some legal issues here, but this is also like, I want things to be balanced, I feel like you just want things to be balanced here. You know, it's like, <laughs> I, I know that I am the maker of my own life and I can do what I want with it here. And I'm kind of like disappointed how things are turning out. And I realize that I can do what I want with my life. I'm, I feel like you're on a break here. Just kind of thinking about things, about what you want to do next here. You're trying to balance yourself here. And again, for some of you, it could be going through some legal issues. Scorpio, what are the messages, please? Yeah, you want the whole enchilada. You want happiness. You want family. Um, you just want to be happy. You want to have family, home, the white picket fence, the dog, the cat, whatever is Scorpio. 
maybe the beach and a bonfire and some marshmallows. Anyways, I could go on forever. You just want to be balanced and happy, right? Isn't that what we all want? Wow. There's a reunion reconciliation here for some of you here. Um, getting back together. Maybe you broke up and you're going to get back together. Receive an apology gift or communication here. Things are going to change with that wheel of fortune. And hey, it's up to you whether you accept this reconciliation, Scorpio. Don't yell at me down below in the comment section saying, nope, done, over with. That's your choice. We all have free will. Okay, leaving an unhappy situation. So perhaps somebody um, left an unhappy situation and they're reconciling with you or vice versa here. Or somebody had to leave an unhappy situation, take a break, and then they're coming towards you, Scorpio, or vice versa here. I've got a lot of water energy, so there's a lot of emotions going on here. Um, definitely. This change, though, is going to bring about a lot of happiness and abundance, I feel here. It's going to bring everything back into balance for you. Let's go ahead and get a guidance and advice messages from the Goddess Guidance cards, and then we're going to head over into the continuation where I'm going to dig a lot deeper. So if you feel like you're in a twin flame journey here for some of you, um, we're definitely going to pull guidance and advice messages from the Twin Flame Oracle. Again, the Tarot Sexual Magic will dig into April. What are the messages for Scorpio, please? Guidance and advice messages for Scorpio. Also pulling the fortune cards. What is going on for Scorpio? What's going on for us Scorpios, please? For March 2021. And again, I'll get advice messages for April. I always like to dig to the next month, right? We like to dig us Scorpios. What are the messages? Ooh, very nice. Ooh, high priestess, not surprising in our Scorpio readings, is it? A lot of you are high priestesses and you don't even know. Maybe you don't tap into it. Some of us do and some of us don't. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings. So many of us are spiritual teachers. Guidance can be great counselors, um, can be great detectives, as we know, uh, for some of you. But, you know... Um, you know, share the light, share the love here, because that's what we're here to do. We are the sign of transformation, and we can definitely help people transform, see things um, clearly, more clearly, realize their, and, and help them to their full potential. Um, and we do it without trying. It's like, it's so strange. Like, it's only been, I think, the last, I don't know, five years, I guess, that I felt that this way. Um, and I, I have no idea. It's, it's like that's when I became spiritually awakened, right? A little bit more every year, you, your, your uh, intuition heightens. So for many of you, Spirit is saying that you do have divine knowledge through your spiritual teachings. And so remember that. A lot of the water signs do. Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Taurus does as well. Um, some of the uh, fire signs, but especially the water signs. Very in tune with our emotions. We can pick up on other people's body language, what they say, even at a distance. We can pick up every little thing. And, you know, um, it's it's really helps to guide others. So tap into that if you haven't already. Wow, transformation. Beautiful butterfly. Look how incredible that is. Very nice. You're experiencing enormous change right now, which will bring great blessings. So, you know, many of us transform over and over again. We got judgment here. We have spiritual awakening here. So there's a lot to think about here. And I feel like spirit saying, maybe you just need to kind of take a break and look at everything and decide what you want to do, Scorpio. Um, you or whoever you're dealing with here is going through this big spiritual maturity process here. And it's a transformation. It, it turns you inside out and, and um, allows you to see things differently here and realize that you don't have to um, stay in a situation that you are happy, that you can leave it, that you can have happiness here and realize that you don't have to make the rest of the world happy by those decisions you make. They will get over it. Um, but that's just a Scorpio logic, you know, because we're so used to change. We can, we can, we can adjust. It's, it's like we're a caterpillar turning into a butterfly, you know, once a week. Well, not quite, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we just, we roll with it. We know what we got to do and we just do it. We just do it. That's, that's how we're kind of made up, but not everybody else is. Okay. So there's a very slow moving energy here and it's like, I'm on a break. I'm trying to make a decision here. I have a lot of disappointment. I know I can make these decisions here. I know there's a massive change coming here. It's going to bring in a lot of blessings here. I need to trust my divine power, knowledge, my intuition here. Okay, definitely somebody thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, whether that was you or whoever you're dealing with here. But they want to make things right here. So perhaps somebody was looking at their other opportunities, you or them, both of you here, whatever the case may be. It's like, I just, I feel like somebody wants to message you or you them 
and make things right and um, is realizing the grass wasn't greener, the other opportunities weren't up to much here, they're missing you or vice versa here. However, this is resonating for you. Somebody I feel wants a reconciliation, sees you as your 10 of cups, vice versa here. This can totally happen in the future. You may not have even met this person yet for some of you here. I feel like for many of you, you already know this person, but let's keep digging. I'm gonna dig in again to April. We're gonna see where this massive change is going here, what the outcome is, what the challenges, blockages are, if it's a twin flame um, union happening or what's going on. So if this is where you leave me, Scorpio, I will see you next time. I wish you much love, happiness, success, and most of all, positivity, because that is half the battle. And for those of you meeting me on the continuation, I will be right there. Again, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and the notification bell, because if you don't, then you won't uh, receive further notifications of the readings. So I wish you all amazing blessings now and always. Namaste.